Hey everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Last week I posted a video telling you guys what my goals are for this channel in 2020. And in that video, I also had you answer three different questions which would allow you to be entered into my first giveaway of 2020, which is a $100 Amazon gift card. So if you answered those questions, your name is on this piece of paper and I'm going to cut them up and put them into my bowl and then we will draw a name and see who is our lucky winner. Oh, also, I almost forgot. If you watched the video all the way to the end, there was a special word on the very end. that if you typed that up in the comments, your name gets entered in for an extra entry. So these are those names. So they're already on here and they're getting an extra entry for the giveaway. So next time, make sure you watch all the way to the end. It's like an ASMR video. Should we do it? I would like to do an ASMR cooking video. If I did an ASMR cooking video, would that be something you guys watched? <laughs> Probably not, but that's okay. I think it would be fun to make. So my husband wanted me to use some fancy app that does this for you, but I said, no way, Mr. Chai. I am old school and I do things with paper and cut it up, because that's how I roll. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that I really do appreciate all of your comments and I love reading through them and I love the suggestions that you guys have given me. For example, I loved what Becky Brandt said. She suggested to me that she would like to see more quick and easy meals that can be done within like, 30 to 45 minutes. And I agree with you, Becky, because it takes a lot of time to cook dinner every single night. So my goal this year is to help you guys out and I'm gonna come up with some quick, easy meals that you guys can cook for your family. And I'm also going to include those in video and also in some meal plans coming up. All right, now we're gonna do the extra entries here. And another comment that one of you guys left was from Sandra Bullock. And she said, do you ever do anything with a whole menu? Like for a week or two or even a month? Something like meal cycling or putting weeks worth of meals together and your process for making the grocery list. Well, Sandra, I am actually in the process right now of creating a meal plan that's going to have videos, tips, techniques, the way I do things, things I learned in culinary school that will help you be more efficient in the kitchen. And also, um, going back to what Becky suggested, some quick, easy meals. So I'm hoping to come out with a couple different meal plans that you guys can have access to in the next couple of months. So if there's something, in, you know, something you're really looking forward to on a meal plan, leave that in the comments below and I'll make sure I squeeze that into my meal plan. So now I have to fold these up so you guys don't think I'm cheating when I look at the names because I don't like cheaters. It's not fair. I think this was supposed to be two names. I didn't space it out. Good thing I caught that or two people would have won. Whew. Now you know why I do it this way. <laughs> My husband just said, now you know why I do it digital. Well, he's probably got a point there, but really, this is the real reason because I wanna leave you all hanging in suspense, who's gonna win? No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't know how to use a lot of things that involve technology. 
If I didn't have my husband, I probably wouldn't even have this YouTube channel unless it, you could film it just from an iPhone, <laughs> which is possible. I'm actually thinking of filming a whole episode with just using my iPhone and see how that goes. But we will see. All right. Another suggestion came from Benjamin Salstrom. He said he would like to see some unique recipes that are new to most people. Ethnic foods, maybe? It's always more fun to learn how to make something out of the ordinary than something we normally make. It makes it more intriguing to watch when we are learning along with you. And I 100% agree with you, Benjamin. Sometimes I will get on YouTube and start watching videos of people cooking from all around the world. And before you know it, 20 minutes have gone by and you're like, well, now I know how to deep fry beetles. And make them taste good. And I had no idea that's what I wanted to watch. So I agree. I may not do beetles on the show, <laughs> but I'll come up with something unique just for you, Benjamin. So keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna mix these around. And let's see. Maybe I should have, I was gonna say, maybe I should have my husband come and pull, but he's shaking his head and saying no. That's okay. He's camera shy. Just kidding, it's because he's already in his pajamas, lucky man. All right. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. I just wanna take a minute though and truly say thank you to each of you for watching my channel, for supporting, for subscribing, and for leaving comments because I truly love reading what you guys write to me and I read every single comment. So keep the comments coming because it gives me something to do. Just kidding. All right, Jessica Young also suggested to me, she said, she said how she likes it when I put my videos on my Facebook group because she uses that more than YouTube. So I also love that comment, Jessica, thank you, because I want you guys to know that I do have a Facebook group. It's called Zested Foods and you can go in and you can just add yourself to it and be a part of the group. I try and post regularly in the group. There's lots of people that make comments and it's very engaging. So make sure you check out my Facebook group, Zested Foods. Okay, should we pull a name? Who's gonna win? I never win anything except one time I went to a conference and I actually won something, but it was just this daily journal and it was the same page for like 365 days. And normally that's fine, but I'm not the type of person to wake up every day and write down the date and what I'm gonna do and my goals and all this every single day. So I was grateful I won. So I can't say I never win, but I wasn't, I wish it was a TV or something. That'd be cool. All right. Actually, the other day I was reading these really fun facts I'm gonna tell you this first fact. Did you know that in the 1830s, ketchup was sold as medicine? Yeah. Yeah, they, want, they used it for like diarrhea. I can't remember the other one, but look it up. It's a real thing. I don't know if they were right or if we are wrong. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? I don't know, but I love ketchup. Okay, here's fact number two. I actually didn't know this, so I looked it up. And I thought it would be kind of funny that I might have to make a YouTube video regarding this, but, and I'm totally gonna say it wrong. I had to have Google tell me how to pronounce it. So, the fear of cooking is known as mag... Magurocopia, phobia. <laughs> you have to look it up and have Google tell you how to say it because it's really funny. 
Majorocophobia. Phob <laughs> I know how to spell, I know how to say phobia, but when you read it, it looks funny. Majorocophobia. It, and it's recognized as a true phobia. So if you have magorogophobia, magorogophobia, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out there. All right, okay. So I never really ate spam growing up. It just wasn't really a thing in my household. But I met my husband who has Hawaiian roots. And as you know, Ho Hawaiians love spam. It's very popular there and it's very good actually. So we have started eating it in our family and our kids, I kid you not, when I fry up a can of spam, <laughs> there are tears on who gets the last piece of spam. <laughs> Yeah, never would I ever have thought that would be the issue in my house is who's getting the last piece, even down to my two-year-old. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm just thinking about it and it's so funny. <laughs> okay, even though Spam is a popular Hawaiian treat, the home of Spam is actually in Minnesota. There is even a Spam museum. I had no idea. So guess what I did? Well, first of all, I Googled it and it is a real thing. There is a spam museum in Minnesota of all places, but I also put it on my bucket list. So Mr. Chai, we're going to Minnesota. I've never been there. Dang it. How come you've never told me? My husband went apparently. Yes. Rude. You didn't even take a picture? Yeah. Okay, it's still on my bucket list, but I'm not taking my husband. <laughs> Minnesota, here I go. Just not in the winter, it's cold. Okay, should we draw one? You guys have been waiting so patiently. I, I promise I won't look, I'll put it down. But before I do, I actually do have one more fact for you. <laughs> Here's another one of those big words that I think people didn't know what to do, so they just put a bunch of letters together to make it feel like it's a whole word. That's science, probably. Check that it's science. So do you hate getting things stuck at the roof of your mouth? Well, you're not alone. You might have arachibutyrophobia. Arachibutyrophobia is the fear of getting peanut butter stuck to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Just like our dog. That's a real thing. I don't know how to pronounce it, but apparently arachibutyrophobia is the fear of getting peanut butter stuck to the roof of your mouth. You know, this is the thing I question. That means there has to be more than one, more than 10. There has to be a lot of people that have that fear for the scientists to create such a thing, <laughs> right? So if you have that fear, let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious. I've never met somebody. I'm not laughing if you have that fear. It, it's a real thing, but I'm laughing because it's funny. <laughs> Okay, okay, you guys are like, so what are we getting ourselves into? We're never watching you again. Okay, should we pull? What if I pull this one? Actually, I have one more fact, and I promise this is the last one. Why don't you have a laptop if you're reading off a page? I don't know, because it makes me look more professional, like Dateline. Let's talk about the news. Actually, we should pretend for a second. Welcome to 2020. Ha! <laughs> this is 2020. Just kidding. I've always wanted to say that, but what are they gonna do after 2020? Are they gonna still keep calling the news 2020? Were they just thinking the news was gonna end in 2020? Or are they just gonna call it 2020 from now on? It's probably they call it 2020 because it's like perfect vision of 
Anyways, I have no idea. Now we're just rambling. Okay, the first food to ever be consumed in space, do you know what it was? Applesauce. They were curious to know if you could eat, you could swallow, digest food while being weightless. So the first food consumed was applesauce in a tube. Go applesauce. I could take my kids to space and they would have at least something they would like to eat that's not mushed up and funky and tube fed. They like applesauce. Actually, we feed tube, yeah. We still eat applesauce in a tube today. My husband made fun of me. Like I said, I'm old school. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what you've all been here patiently waiting. Please tell me you didn't skip through this whole video and just go double tap, double tap, double tap, just to get to the end. If you do, I know who you are. Just kidding, I don't. Here we go. Who's gonna be the winner of our $100 Amazon gift card? Okay, I have one in my hand. If I pronounce your name wrong, I apologize in advance. I didn't look. If your name is some salty, you have just won yourselves a $100 Amazon gift card. Please make sure that you email me at zestedfoods at gmail.com and we will make sure that we send that gift card right to your inbox. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you think I've been a little too crazy for your liking, please give me a thumbs up so I know that next time I just need to be even more fun and crazy. Just kidding. Thanks again, and we will see you guys in the next video.